All right, guys, in this experiment, what we're gonna do is we're gonna determine the caloric content of a cashew nut. And the way we will do it is we're gonna use a very primitive calorimeter where we're going to burn this, literally burn this nut, and the energy while this nut is being burned will be transferred into the, into the water that I will deliver in a few next steps. Now, so this will give us not, of course, an exact number of uh, how much energy this uh, cashew contain, but it will give us a little ballpark of uh, how many calories uh, this uh, one cashew nut contains per gram of it. Now, what's important here is what we're mimicking here is our bodies because when we ingest foods, when we ingest food, the energy from the food is being released into our body, so to say, and the products now that will remain after the cashews burn are CO2 and H2O, and of course, energy will be released as a, a part of this process. All right, guys, so today we're gonna do experiment number four, determination of the caloric content of a cashew nut. So please, print this experiment before they conduct the demo, guys, so that you can follow me step by steps and uh, actually learn how I generate the data because you will be doing the calculations at the end of this experiment. So my first step is I need to determine the mass of my holder here, of the cashew nut holder. And so I'm gonna place the Buddha now on the balance, which was already zeroed. I tear the balance, everything was zero here. And the mass of my assembly is 4.9356 grams all right so just document put it down guys because we're going to come to that mass in a moment now the next step i'll do guys is i have to now measure the mass of my cashew itself i'm going to position it now on this assembly and i'm going to take the mass of the cashew plus the assembly all right, there it is. And so my mass now is 6.4792. All right. So again, guys, don't forget, you will have to document the mass. And I will come to this, to these uh, data, mass, uh, these uh, weights and data of the data. And I will show you guys in the uh, data sheet these masses so that we can do go to the next step. Okay guys, after I read the procedure, I realized that the data table here is incorrectly, uh, I guess, assembled. And as a result, I had to do some modifications on the fly. And so one of the modifications here, I need to get my weight of the cashew by itself. So I remember measure guys, the assembly plus the cashew was 6.4792 grams. I did now determine also the weight of the assembly by itself. And so the difference between the two, between the assembly plus the cashew, minus the mass of the assembly, I now got the mass of the cashew here. And again, the reason is I did this way is because there was no space for me to put the masses of the assembly plus the cashew and the assembly. Okay, so we're gonna use now this mass at the end of the experiment. And I, you know, specifically now put this mass above exact the term that it represents it is the supposed to be mass of the cashew and that is the mass of the cashew by itself so now since i completed this step now we're gonna go to the next step all right guys so now i got my 20.0 ml of water the way i did it is just added distal water in here and the bottom of the meniscus is touching the line Remember guys, we learned in experiment number one when we did density, that's the way to measure water in the graduated cylinder. So I'm gonna pour now this water into this test tube in here. So I just delivered 20.0 milliliters of water. And so my next step is to measure the temperature of the water. I'm going to position this somewhere in the middle. And so I have to now look at the thermometer here and there it is, I got 20, 
21.9 initial temperature. Okay, so the next thing I have to do, guys, is to burn this cashew now. And the procedure, guys, is very uh, straightforward. I have to position this uh, within the two centimeters. So I'm gonna lower this a little bit right now. And again, this is a very crude calorimeter. And the way the calorimeter usually works is that you have to have an insulated system where the calorimeter captures heat or exchanges heat with the food or any kind of chemical reaction and it's not releasing that heat into the rest of the universe or the surroundings. So this is a crude calorimeter because the entire surroundings is open, guys, in here. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start burning this cashew. And so even though we're gonna lose a lot of heat to the surroundings, we're still gonna get some uh, uh, crude data here uh, for the energy content of this cashew nut. All right, so let me do this step now. So I'm gonna remove this now from the bottom of the water because if I don't, then I'm gonna introduce additional heat coming from the, my match or emanating from my match. So I'm gonna start burning this cashew now. Just be patient. It's gonna take me a little time here to get it going, but I got it going now here. There it is. I'm gonna put it right in the bottom of this, at the bottom of this test tube. And so the energy now that is being released by this cashew will be most of it entering the, the water, 20 ml of water. So let's wait until the entire cashew burns. And after this, we're gonna go to the next step. Okay guys, as you can see, the cashew is being burned. And when you ingest food, such as cashew or any other food, it will also release energy as you metabolize the food. And the products, of course, in your body, guys, of this uh, process is CO2 and H2O. And there's no difference here. What you produce here is the H, uh, CO2 and H2O as part of the products. And also heat is all being released. As you can see now, our water is boiling. So I am uh, pretty sure now the temperature of this water it has to be 100 degrees here. But we're going to measure it now because once it's finished, it's stopped. All right, so let me, so it has to be close to 100 degrees, so let's do it. All right, there you go. And I'm gonna stir it a little to make sure that all of my water, every parts of it is actually, has the same temperature. So I'm right holding right in the middle, I'm not touching any sides in here. And actually the temperature here is 93 points zero so it's 93.0 okay so let me capture that all right there you go that's my final temperature here as you can see now some of this uh, test tube got some black deposits so this is nothing else but soot and the soot is just uh, poorly or unburned carbon that we uh, it got uh, uh, deposited by this uh, burning cashew. And other products of this combustion reactions are CO, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide, and of course, water. And the predominant uh, product here should be really carbon dioxide, because there's enough oxygen here in the atmosphere to combine with uh, whatever the organic uh, compounds that are in the cashew to actually form a carbon dioxide. So after now we measure the temperature, so we're going to go now and measure the assembly plus the cashew nut that's being now burnt. All right, let's do it. Okay guys, so here I got my uh, burnt cashew and the assembly. I made sure that all my uh, balance displays all zeros in here. I'm gonna put it here now and I'm gonna document my mass. The mass of the, not my mass of course, but the mass of the cashew. All right, so it's uh, 5.1187. Okay, guys, now that I uh, put, uh, put down my data, guys, on this uh, data sheet, the data table, 
So let's go over now the calculations. So what do we do today? What we did today, we learn how much a quantity of the heat that was released by one cashew nut. And how do we determine now this quantity of the heat? We're gonna use this formula here below, where the Q stands for quantity of the heat, C sub P stands for specific heat capacity of the water, M stands for mass of the water, which is 20.0 grams, and specific heat capacity of the water is one calorie per gram Celsius. And the delta T, all you have to do now is do T final minus T initial. Now your T final here is 93.0 degrees. T initial now is right here. And all you have to do, find out now what the quantity of the heat is by multiplying one times 20.0 times whatever the difference between these two values. Okay guys, let's move to the next part. So in the last part, again, I only did one trial, so that should be enough for your calculations. Uh, the data that we gather, guys, should be enough here. So here's what you're gonna do next. You're gonna determine now the number of calories per gram of a cashew nut. And the way you will do it is by, remember in the previous step you guys found the Q by using the one calorie per gram per Celsius as the specific capacity of water. You times it by 20.0 grams of water times the T final minus T initial of the of water. And so you're gonna plug whatever you guys get here, you plug it right here in the numerator. And then the mass of the cashew, remember guys, we found at the beginning of this experiment. So you will have to go to the uh, data table and retrieve that mass. I actually got it for you, to be honest. This is right here. So it's 1.5436 grams. And so you find out how much the Q is, place it here. You know the mass of the cashew. You take the Q divided by this mass, whatever the number is, and it will give you the, the number of calories per gram of a cashew and that would be the end of this experiment. So now you will have to contact your professor to get the instructions on how to complete this experiment in terms of data handling, and also you guys must answer the questions at the end of the experiment.